Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Building a code pen with React can be a great way to showcase your React projects and share them with others in an interactive way. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the steps of creating a code pen with React and provide you with a code example to get you started. Hashtag 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 step 1, set up your code pen environment. 1. Go to the code pen website, https colon slash slash codepen.io, and create an account if you don't already have one. 2. Click on the new pen button to create a new pen. 3. In the settings section of the pen, under JavaScript, select Babel as the JavaScript preprocessor. This will allow you to write JSX code in your React components. Hashtag 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 step 2, create your React app. 1. In the HTML section of your pen, add a div with an ID where your React app will be mounted. For example, 2. In the JavaScript section of your pen, you can start writing your React code. Here is a simple example of a React component that renders a hello, world, message. Hashtag 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 step 3, add React and React DOM libraries. In the settings section of your pen, under JavaScript, you can add the following external scripts to include React and React DOM libraries. React https slash slash .com slash react at 16 slash umd slash react dot development dot js react dom https slash slash .com slash react dom at 16 slash umd slash react dom dot development dot js hashtag 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 step 4 run your react app Click on the Run button in the Code Pen Editor to see your React app in action. You should see the Hello, World, message rendered on the screen. That's it. You have successfully created a Code Pen with React. You can now continue building your React app and showcase it on Code Pen. Here is the full code example for reference. Feel free to expand on this example by adding more components, using state and props, or integrating with external APIs. Happy coding!